Hello and welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Monday of the fourth week of Easter. And our Acts of the Apostles reading today is just chock full of beautiful insights. Uh, first of all, we see Peter having a, uh, a vision. Uh, after, he's having to explain himself, first of all, uh, because he was entering the house of and eating with Gentiles, and the Jews thought that he was uh, profaning himself in, in uh, you know, sharing food with the Gentiles. And just as Jesus was, you know, always accused of uh, um, profaning himself by eating with tax collectors and sinners, here we see Peter uh, likewise being chastised for uh, hanging out with the wrong sort, if you will. But uh, Peter explains to them that he had a vision, and he saw this vision, and it uh, explained to him many things. And the first thing was that, uh, you know, the, the dietary um, uh, restrictions that Jews placed on themselves had no bearing with God. As a matter of fact, God said, don't profane what I've made clean. So allowing food to be eaten, what a, everything God has given us, and uh, I've tried most of it, and it's wonderful. Such a beautiful uh, culinary treat the Lord has blessed us with food from everywhere and the, the various spices and tastes. And, you know, the, in those days, of course, the Jews wouldn't eat pork or shellfish, you know, like lobsters and crabs and oysters and things like that. But in this vision, Peter was assured. And, you know, Jesus said a very similar thing when he told them that nothing that goes into your body can profane your body. It's what comes out from your heart, what comes out from your lips profanes. Nothing that enters in can profane or, you know, sully your your body. So that's the first thing that, that uh, Peter uh, proclaims. And then this beautiful unity message and we hear it spoken yesterday in our gospel Jesus as the good shepherd said there are other sheep that don't belong to this flock but are also mine and they'll hear my voice and we'll have one shepherd and one flock and today we see the blessing of the Gentiles bringing them into the fold, bringing them into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And then the third thing is that Peter said, you know, this is God's word. This is God's will. Who am I? Who am I to stand in his way? Well, we could ask ourselves that same question because I find myself from time to time, too often, standing in God's way. Now you would think, wait a minute, God's big, powerful, he can do everything and anything, and I'm just a speck, I'm just a piece of dust, I'm nothing. How can I hinder God? Well, remember, and this is so important for us all to know, that God does not for, he's a gentleman, a gentle God, okay? He does not force himself on anyone. We have free will. And by our own free will, sometimes we choose to hinder God. We hear his voice, we hear our shepherd, but we don't listen. We, we know his commands, but we do something else, a thwarting God's plan and work in our lives. And 
sadly, sometimes in the lives of others. We get between others and God. And, you know, that's sad, but it's the reality of the human condition. And it's the reality of our relationship. And that's what Christianity is. That's what Catholicism is. It's nothing less than a wonderful relationship with our Creator. It's not a club, an organization. It's not um, something that's, uh, you know, checking off a box. But it's it's a heart to heart. It's a relationship. It's a communication. Hearing the voice of God, seeing His face, recognizing Him in the breaking of the bread, being one with him. And we're going to hear a little bit more about that tomorrow. So a spoiler alert, okay? So we have, um, we have that. And then in our gospel today, our gospel today, this is also from John's gospel, and it's a uh, part of the Good Shepherd uh, passages. We heard yesterday about Jesus being the Good Shepherd, and today we hear more about Jesus being the gate, the gate that the sheep come in and go out. He's the gate. They recognize his voice. They follow him. They don't follow the voice of a stranger. They follow him. I know mine, and mine know me this great shepherd of the flock is our Lord, our shepherd. And just as we heard in the, the, uh, the first reading, the sheep that belong to him are everyone who hears his voice and recognizes him. We have beautiful relationship with our shepherd. So my brothers and sisters, let us listen. Let us hear his voice and let us be his voice. Let us echo his words. Let us resound the word of God so that when people see and hear us, they recognize God's voice there as well. We have a, the free will, right? And when we speak, we have two things that can come out of our mouth. We can speak God's blessings or we can speak the curses of the devil. Whose voice are you going to be in this world today and tomorrow and all of your tomorrows? Again, we decide. We have free will. God gives us that gift. You know, force it. We're not slaves. We're not subservient to God. We're in a relationship with him. And how strong and tight that relationship is, it's up to us in our response to his call. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. And that voice comes from many sources because God speaks through his flock, through his people. We hear his voice in the words of our pastors, our priests, our bishops, the Holy Father. We hear God's voice in people throughout history, people like Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Mother Teresa, Bishop Tutu, St. John Paul II, St. Faustina, so many people speaking the words of God for us to hear and to take to heart. Let us pray our evening prayer, shall we? In thanksgiving and in supplication, we ask, we ask God for the gift of his words and let us hear them, take them to heart, and speak them ourselves. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, 
make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever is in Christ is a new creature. Alleluia. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever? Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever? Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever? It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever, and the moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever is in Christ is a new creature. Alleluia. Let us love God, for he has first loved us. Alleluia. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in, in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever, and Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave our fathers a foreign land to inherit. Free us today from sin and give us a share in your inheritance. Let us love God, for he has first loved us. Alleluia. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Alleluia. 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, minister of the sanctuary of that true tabernacle, set up not by man, but by the Lord. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I have other sheep that do not belong to this flock. These also I must lead. They will hear my voice, and there will be one fold and one shepherd. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have other sheep that do not belong to this flock. They also I must lead. They will hear my voice, and there will be one fold and one shepherd. Alleluia. Let us pray to Christ the Lord, who bathed the world in glory through his resurrection. With joyful hearts let us say, Christ our life, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, You walked with your disciples on the way. Be with your church on its pilgrimage through life. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Do not let us be slow to believe, but ready to proclaim you as victor over death. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Look with kindness on those who do not recognize your presence. Reveal yourself to them so that they may welcome you as Savior. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Through the cross you have brought reconciliation to mankind in your body. Grant unity, peace to all nations. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Judge of the living and the dead, Forgive the sins of the faithful departed. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raised a fallen world. Free us from sin and bring us the joy that lasts forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you, bless us, protect us 
from all anxiety and bring us to everlasting peace. And may Almighty God bless you all. God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. Got through Monday. Tuesday will be a breeze, right? Let's hope so. See you then.